The deputies working at the Denver jail say a new policy puts them in a dangerous place. And an attack earlier this week never should have happened. Kelly Worthman live at the downtown detention center looking into this issue for us. Kelly. Karen, the Denver Sheriff's Union believes politics got in the way of creating a better use of force policy, leaving many deputies who work here at the jail confused, some even assaulted. What started as a typical inmate booking at the Denver jail quickly turned into an attack on two deputies. Denver police reports revealed Jasmine Pittman punched a female deputy as they escorted her to a cell. Denver Sheriff's Union Vice President Michael Britton says inmate attacks like that are common ever since the department revised its use of force policy last year. What this is creating is a hostile environment and the inmates know it. Videos of deputy involved altercations with inmates ultimately led the department to add a de-escalation section to its policy. It basically advises deputies to use their words to control a situation instead of force, unless there's an imminent threat. But when that doesn't help, nobody knows what to do next. We're afraid that if we engage, we're going to have an internal affairs case and we're afraid of getting terminated. Sheriff Patrick Furman has created work groups for deputies to better learn the 36-page use of force policy, but Britain says there's still a lot of confusion, and those who work inside the jails feel like their hands are tied. We've lost control of this jail. Now, Sheriff Foreman did release a statement to us today saying that he values his employees and that they're putting a lot of effort into helping those deputies better understand the policies, even putting them through scenario training. As for the deputies who were attacked here yesterday, they were taken to a nearby hospital for treatment, and now Denver police are investigating. Reporting live in downtown Denver, Kelly Worthman covering Colorado First.